So we wanted to showcase this place today as yet another opportunity as we move into a new era of work for the Dole, that this is the sort of place, this is the sort of area that we believe can benefit from a work for the Dole program. Braddon, as people would know, sadly, uh, with the Brotherhood of St Lawrence only a few months ago, listed us as the highest area of youth unemployment in the country and on that basis, unfortunately a very sad basis to work from but a reality we have to face uh, that we have been chosen in this area uh, and there is an area in uh, Eric Hutchison's electorate and also in the area of Bass that have been chosen as three of the 18 sites across the country to commence phase one of work for the Dole on the 1st of July this year. Employment is a very important social and economic activity. All the data tells us that you, if you are in gainful employment, your mental health, your physical health, your self-esteem and your social interaction is enhanced. Having said all that, if you regrettably are not earning or learning, we will then seek to engage our young Australians <coughs> in w new Work for the Dole projects and the northern part of Tasmania is one of the uh, 18 regions that has been selected to trial uh, Work for the Dole with new projects before we roll it out to a full extent as of the 1st of July uh, 2016. Work for the Dole offers the opportunity for young people to demonstrate the skills that they can bring to a workplace and at the same time learn new skills and competencies that will stand them in good stead when they seek a job in the labour market. So Work for the Dole has the potential to allow those young people to learn those very necessary skills. We in the government believe in mutual obligation, that if you're in receipt of benefits, you should give something back. And when I've talked to participants in the scheme, they are very pleased to be able to get, give something back. They find a Work for the Dole pro program an enriching experience and one that they would recommend to others. We have been where we are today in the past. Uh, when I was warden of Olveston initially in 1992, we had 2.7% higher unemployment than the average in Tasmania and we were looking down the barrel at the end of that year at 400 job losses from the potato factory due to mechanisation and the Department of Construction closing with another 200 jobs. So it was significant in our community that we had an unemployment program. But that wasn't the most important part of what I saw out of these projects. It was the growth and the capacity of those who got involved that was most important. And I very well remember sitting at a farewell at the end of a six month stint for one group that had worked in the, what was called the Community Pride Project and there was a young man sitting opposite me waiting to get his certificate. And he said to his mate sitting behind him, when this stuff's finished with, I'm going to talk to the boss because I want to come back to work on Monday. And I asked the question, you've done your six months, why do you want to come back to work on Monday? And he said, because I've got used to getting up and I want to get up and go somewhere and do something. So it had a benefit to the individuals and that's what we must not lose sight of in this program. It is about allowing those young people to actually have a reason to get up, a reason for a future.